Good morning, I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, September 18th. Mark D'Amico, the South Jersey man in the GoFundMe controversy involving a homeless veteran, is due in court today on an unrelated charge. Florence Township Police arrested D'Amico on an outstanding traffic warrant last week, and he posted the $500 bail. He failed to appear in court in July for driving with a suspended license. D'Amico and his girlfriend, Caitlin McClure, raised $400,000 for veteran Johnny Bobbage, but Bobbage says the couple withheld most of that money. And former President Barack Obama will help campaign for Pennsylvania Democrats in Philadelphia on Friday, but you will need a ticket to see him. The 44th president is campaigning on behalf of Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf and Senator Bob Casey. He will be at the Dell Music Center Friday afternoon, and the tickets are free. They're available at Democratic Party offices in Philadelphia, Ambler, Doylestown, Exton, and Upper Darby. And first responders from Delaware are now in North Carolina to help with recovery efforts after Hurricane Florence. The Frankfurt Volunteer Fire Company in Sussex County is helping the National Guard distribute food and water near Fayetteville. Units from Daxboro and Lewis are also involved in the response to Florence. Most of the Delaware volunteers are expected home from the hurricane zone this weekend. Okay, now let's go check on the forecast with meteorologist Katie Failinger. And Katie, it looks like some of that moisture from Florence is now in our area. Yes, it certainly has been. Even since yesterday, Rahel, we've had some rounds of locally drenching downpours. Well over an inch or two have already fallen in a lot of locations. But there is good news in terms of the, the, uh, the, the length of time we'll have to deal with this. There's a frontal boundary coming along to really sweep this moisture away. And that cold front should actually clear the coast by tonight. So we're looking good in that regard. We just have to deal with one more day uh, with these pockets of locally drenching rain and storms and then we're back to sunshine and we're really going to wrap up our summer season with some pretty pleasant weather all in all. Yom Kippur this evening at sunset it looks like the showers are just about working their way out so if it's not already dry by that point it will be shortly thereafter region wide any of the precip will move out from northwest to southeast and then a look ahead at the next couple of days Wednesday Thursday and most of Friday actually look pretty good a new front does come along Friday night maybe a shower storm from that, but it's already out of here by Saturday, and that is the first official day of fall. Rahel, Saturday right now looks pretty nice. Sure does. Thank yeah. you, Katie. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.